Hi, I'm Paul, the Happy Gilder. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to look at a really simple process of creating kind of different types of plaques. Now, these plaques can be used as the sort of centerpiece of a design, but the technique also works as a border where you can kind of frame corner ornaments and things like that. But before I crack on with the tutorial, just wanted to remind everyone that I've set up a Facebook group and at this point there's over 50 people. We're all sharing information, getting to know each other. It'd be really good if either there's any enthusiasts or professionals out there willing to join and help out. Just a really nice place to kind of share information and ideas. As well as that, I've put a link to my Instagram and my Etsy shop in the description if you wanted to look at some of my old work or also if you wanted to purchase any of my designs. But anyway, let's crack on with the vid. Right, so I'm here in Photoshop and the first thing I always do is start off with a kind of blank screen just for people who have never used Photoshop before. But what I've done here is I've left a couple of things different and that's that the colour palette's got colours in it instead of just the standard black and white. Now if you open Photoshop and this is the case, there's a simple fix to this and that's just by pressing the D key. And as you see that just changes this to black and white. And then if you press the X key that'll swap the foreground and background colours around. I'll start by just creating a file. So I'll go to File and New and I'll set that to, oh, it doesn't really matter, it's whatever your file size is going to be, but I'll just go with my standard 8x10, and I always work at 300 dpi. So those settings look good. Now what I've got is just a blank canvas, 8x10 inches. So the first thing I'll do is create a new layer. Now this is my layers panel. If that's not visible, you can press F7, or you can go up to Window, and then down to Layers. So what I want to do, keeping this with a white background, is just create a new layer by clicking this button here. And I'm just going to go and go up to the marquee tool. Now again, if you've opened Photoshop and someone else has been using it, there's a possibility that this will be set to a different one. So if, if I hold this down, you'll see that there are options here, elliptical and rectangular. So if it's elliptical, you can press Shift and M or you can just um, hold it down and then click on the rectangular. So in the layer one, which is the new layer I've created, I'm just going to drag and create a square. Then I'm going to press my G key, which will be to my paint bucket. And then I'm going to fill that. Now, again, I don't want to just keep doing this, but if it doesn't do that, that'll be because like with the marquee tool, it'll be set with one of the other tools, which is just a case of clicking on it, holding it and going down. It's the paint bucket tool you want. So I've just filled that with black. And I'm going to go to select and deselect or control and D. So what we can do now is just make sure this is central so that I can add some guides that we're going to use to create the kind of shape of the plaque. Now if I press V, what this does is it takes me to my move tool and that's the top of the toolbar. And as I drag this square, you'll see it locks into place and that's because Photoshop has got these this kind of setting where it will snap to the centre. And that's where we want this. And then I'm going to drag a ruler. Now, again, if these aren't visible, you can press Ctrl and R, and this will show and hide your rulers down the side. So just Command R or Control R, depending on whether you're on a PC or Mac. And all you do is click within this space and drag it. And again, as you see, if I get close to this, that just snaps to the side of it. And I want to do that on all sides and in the centre. So drag it in from the top as well. And then as I drag it into the centre, you'll see that snaps to the centre and it will do the same when I do it here. And that's all we need is a framework to get started with this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a layer effect on layer one. And the way you can do that is you can either double click on the layer or you can go up to layer layer style and then this is where all of your layer effects are. Now I'm just going to do it by double clicking on it. Now you need to make sure you don't double click on this bit because that will just offer you the option of renaming your layer. So if you click over here, double click and that brings up my layer styles. Now I want to use two for starters and that's a colour overlay and a stroke. So I'll do the colour overlay first and what you do is you click on the actual word and not on the kind of checkbox because if you click on the checkbox it applies it but it doesn't take you to the actual menu. So I'll click colour overlay 
Now it gives me an option of what colour I want to overlay onto my square. And what I want is white. Now that's made that invisible because it's a white square against a white background. And that's what I want to use the stroke for. So I'll click on stroke. And what I've done is I've chosen black as a colour. I've gone on the inside and then the size is just dependent on, on how big you want it really. So I'm going to go with something like this. Now, there is some limitations around this when you're doing this on something that's not a custom shape. All this is is a pixel based square and I'll show you that now. If I zoom in onto this corner here, you can see when it's stroking the inside of the shape, where it meets it gives you a perfectly sharp corner. Now, if I change that to outside, it rounds off that corner. So it's just something to take into consideration with this. You can get quite elaborate with this technique, but if you're going to do something that requires a sort of stroke around the outside, you'll have those curved corners instead of the nice sharp edges. So anyway, just going to click OK on this. So I've got my stroke and my color overlay. Um, I'm just going to press Control and zero or you can go view fit on screen and what I'm going to do now is decide how big I want these kind of beveled parts in the corner to be so what I do is go to my eraser tool or press E and if I'm looking here if I think I want them about that big you know or just going up and down you can use your brush size up here to convert that size or you can use the kind of square brackets I don't know what they're called um, probably not square brackets but they sort of need the return key on most keyboards and that'll put your brush up and down so if I go around about that size and I'm just going to zoom in to this first top point and then hold in space that will always take you to your tool to sort of pan around the, the canvas so I've got my razor tool, but I need to know how to get that perfectly centered. And that's really easy in Photoshop. All you need to do is press caps lock. And what that does is shows you the dead center of the brush and not the actual brush. Press caps lock again, and it will show you your brush shape again. So press caps lock, go right into the corner here. Click that, and that's taken that really nice kind of curved edge that we wanted to make this plaque. I'm going to do that in every corner. So hold space, pan across into this corner, and then do the same up here. And then I'm just going to press Control Zero, put that on the screen. So that's looking really nice so far, but I want to kind of add another line within that. So if I go to my Magic Wand tool, which is this tool here, or you can press W. If I click select within our square, what that's done is it's taken it right to the edge. Now ordinarily the magic wand tool selects color and it should select just this white up to the edge of the black. The reason it's not doing that is because this black isn't actually part of this yet. It's just a layer effect. So I can still turn this on and off here or I can turn the stroke on and off. So what I need to do is make this layer effect a part of this. And the way to do that is to go to the effect, right click on it, go to create layers. And what I've got here is the stroke, the color fill and the original black layer. And I want them all combined. So the way I'll do that is just shift select all three. And then I can press control or command and E and that's merged them all together. So that layer effect isn't, isn't a layer effect anymore. It's all combined. So what we can do now, if I just press Control and D to deselect that, now when I click the magic wand, you can see that that's gone in the inside just up to the edge of the black. So I'll put that on screen, and then what I'll do with that selection, I'll go to Select, Modify, Contract. And then this is basically however many pixels you want this selection to contract by. So if I go 15, now you can see that that has shrunk down by this amount. And that's been contracted by 15 pixels. And then what I'm going to do is go to edit, 
stroke and again I'm going to do it on the inside here you can choose what color you want but I'm just going to stick with black so I think I'll go probably a 10 pixel stroke on the inside click OK control D and there you've got your kind of inner border which looks really nice so the next step I'd probably just add some sort of false sort of pins I suppose and I'd take that maybe to the the corner edge of where this first bevel dips down pan that across here take it to the corner and then that means we've got our cross here where we can choose how big and where we want to place those sort of pins so what I'm going to do is press B and that's gone to my brush tool and at the moment there's a hard brush that's selected which is what I want but um, you can choose the sort of hardness and the size in here what I'm going to do press caps lock to come off it and then see how big I want these pins to be so on a plaque this size I'd probably go something like that and then zoom into this area press the caps lock again come in here click that pan across and click it again and then just zoom out hide the guides and there that's just a nice little plaque that will be easily cut by the vinyl cutter and they can look really nice on a kind of reverse glass piece and they look really nice etched into wood so that's just the basic one it's really quick to make the more you do it the quicker you'll get at it and you can get more elaborate you know I'm taking stuff off the inside because that inner stroke will maintain the sharp sort of corner but if while it still had a layer effect you wanted to kind of do a big circle here that would take a bump up here that would work as well so that's the basic one and what I'll do now is move on to something well not maybe not more complex but just another variant of it right so following the same style I'm just going to set this up again start off by creating a new layer with a marquee but going to go a bit longer this time something like that going to fill that with black move it to the center drag my guides in and then go to the center of this as well which is there and here so firstly double click on the layer and set my layer effects so that was a color overlay and a stroke and this one is a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner so I'm going to change the, the properties of the stroke something like that so that looks pretty good and then just going to do what I'd done before which was with the eraser let's check the size press caps lock get this down something like that press caps lock again zoom into the area and just take this out in all of these sections now you see this is a bit pixelated it's because I'm working on a very small canvas but you know if you're going to do this I'm doing that for speed purposes because it's a video but you know if you made these huge canvases quite high DPI you're not going to get these sort of pixelated areas so there's something like that that you can use to start with but let's say if you want this to kind of be a plaque with a kind of emblem in the middle what I can then do with that eraser is take that right up to something maybe like that. Just cap flop, click in, click in the center, and that's taken that out there. And now, if I wanted to add something in on the same layer, all I need to do now is press B and go to my brush, caps lock again, see how big we want this in terms of how much space, so something like that press caps lock go here and there you go and because it's on this same layer it's going to apply those same layer effects so what I'm then going to do is create the layers select them all control E to merge them using my magic wand shift select all these areas exactly the same as before modify contract probably a bit smaller this time so I've got 10 pixels edit where is it stroke 
and maybe a bit smaller on this as well and go something like seven. Hide my guides and there. You know, you, you can sort of play around with this and delete areas and add areas. And it's just a really nice kind of versatile little way of making these plaques without having any knowledge of like the pen tool or curves or vectors or anything like that. So just to finish this off, I'll just stick some guides in here. Pop one there and just slide that across. And pop on another one in there and there you go nice little plaque really simple probably took a couple of minutes obviously it took a little bit longer in the first instance because i was explaining everything but you can make these in a minute or two and they're really nice and look ever so traditional and that's it nice simple little trick to create a sort of ornamental plaque to go on anything so i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon and please share it with anyone else who you think might enjoy it so till next time cheers